everybody, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to February's Poundland haul and this is probably the best Poundland haul I have done in a long, long time. My local Poundland recently moved locations. It was only really a fairly small shop and it's moved locations to a huge, huge shop. So I got so many things there and it is, I'm probably gonna say, the best Poundland I've been in in quite a while, especially for all the homeware stuff. I found so many things that I wanted. Um, I did have Elliot in the pram, so couldn't carry too much, but I'm actually quite proud with what I did carry today. <laughs> so I'm going to crack on and show you all the things I got because I've got quite a lot to get through today. So first of all, let's start with, as always, the naughty stuff. I only picked a few bits up actually. I picked up a pack of animals with Freddos for the kids. And then I picked up some Smarties and some Kit Kat Chunkies. These are my absolute fave chocolate. I just have to grab them every time I see them, whether I've got a stack full in the fridge already. Um, you get four bars in there and they're a pound and four tubes of Smarties for a pound. So next I'm gonna show you all the cleaning things that I picked up. Now, first of all, I've seen these. These are the Andrex wipes. Um, they say washlets and they are gentle clean and these ones are the kids ones they are fruity fresh fragrance and it's got a picture of a watermelon on there so i think they're going to smell quite nice now the reason i picked these up is because i thought they would be a lot easier to carry around with me every day um, in my bag rather than taking a big pack of baby wipes out i usually use the asda's little angel baby wipes but they are quite big chunky packs these ones I thought would just be perfect for wiping mucky faces, mucky hands, any other little things that you need these for and also for toilet training. Now Elliot is in the middle of potty training and these are perfect because they're flushable as well. So we just thought they've got 40 wipes in each, they'd just be a lot easier to carry around. The next things I picked up was these and even in the bag as I was carrying all this upstairs I could smell these. They smell incredible so these are the lenore tumble dryer sheets in the scent summer breeze and there's 34 in here um i use i don't use these in the tumble dryer i use these to put in my cushions on the couch um any little cushions and scatter cushions we've got on any of the beds in the house um it just keeps them really really fresh they smell really good and yeah, that's what I use those for. Next, I picked up a little tub of The Pink Stuff by Star Drops. This is the Miracle Clean and Paste, and it says it's tough on stains. Now, I know everybody went crazy for this stuff around the Mrs. Hinch boom, and probably still now. I've never used it, never ever used it. So I thought I would pick it up and give it a little go and see. It literally, from what I can see, does everything it literally cleans everything so yeah i thought i'd pick it up it was only a pound so why not while it was there because i know all this stuff sold out like wildfire um so yeah i picked a tub of that up i also picked up a tub of this this is the astonish oxyactive plus and it is the stain remover um this i just throw one scoop in a wash load when i'm washing all the kids clothes and our clothes it was not going to do any harm it's non-bio um fabric stain remover and it just keeps clothes really nice and fresh and any little stains it will get them out also you can use this if there's any tougher stains or more embedded stains you can use it as like a pre-soak um, or put a bit on and rub it in and leave it before you actually throw it in the wash and then throw a scoop in with the wash as well um yeah i really like it i found it does really good things with my clothes next i picked up two of these these are the airwick freshen up um, in the scent wild berries so basically all you do with these it is a liquid you screw the top let me show you screw the top off and inside attached is like all this tissuey stuff it's like cotton wool i think um it soaks up all that lovely scent oh that's really nice it smells nice and sweet um and yeah you just pull it up and leave it wherever you want it they're not the prettiest things in the world but i find they smell really nice really strong and i like to put these in the toilet and in the bathrooms so i find if i just unscrew them and pop them behind something you can't see them 
but they smell really, really good. I picked up a pack of Kleenex, um, Kleenex tissues for the living room because everybody is full of cold and got snotty noses at the minute. This isn't technically cleaning stuff, <laughs> but I don't know which other section to put it under, so I just thought I'd throw it in now. It is the suet balls for the birds, the little bird feeder that I've got in the garden. So next I'll move on to more beauty side of things. Um, so I picked up one of these. This is the Nair hair remover uh, for sensitive skin. I thought I would just give it a go and see. I have really, really sensitive skin and even shaving my legs or anything like that. Um, it just really irritates me skin. So after all these years of shaving, I thought, why not just give it a go and see? And this doesn't say anything other than it's suitable for all hair types and it is for sensitive skin. Picked up a tube of Nivea Pale and Beauty deodorant. This I think was £1.49. Next I picked up this. This is the Witch um, Blemish Clear Gel. So let me open it and see. I used to use the Witch, does everybody remember the Witch stick? And it was like, um, like a chapstick but it was the Witch stuff and you just screw it up and rub it on any blemishes, any spots that you have. Let's see if it smells the same. Oh, it's a bit me. Yeah, it does. It smells pretty similar. Not as strong, I would say, as the witch stick. Um, this basically, it helps improve any appearance of spots and blemishes and it says it gets to work instantly. Now, I have been having a bit of a breakout on my chin for the past couple of months. Hormonal wise, I've been having a bit of an imbalance, so I thought I would give this a go. I was using, oh God, what was the other thing I was using? It was something that I got in my birch box and it lasted me for quite a while and I cannot for the life of me remember what it was called now, but it was amazing, so I need to get myself some of that. But while I was in Poundland, I thought, seeing this, I'll give it a go. Next, I picked up these, just two little nail varnishes, I can't speak. Two nail varnishes in a pack. This one is a very gorgeous nude, paley pink colour, and the other one is a pink glitter. Um, I got these because, again, Elise being a little diva, loves, loves to have her nails painted when she's not in nursery. So I got these and I thought we'd have a little girly pamper day and doing nails. I also picked up a bottle of paracetamol because, as mentioned, the kids are full of cold. Then I seen these. I've not used these before. I've not given them a go. And while I was in there, I thought, I am in desperate need tonight, hence all of this appearance that you can see in front of you. Um, I am in desperate need of a proper, proper pam tonight. So it's hair washing night tonight and nails are getting done. I've ordered myself some new gel nail polishes for my UV lamp. And I thought, just give myself a little bit of a pamper. So I've seen these and thought I will pick them up and give them a little go. They are the foot... Uh, masks. This one is exfoliating foot peel, tea tree and peppermint scented. This one is a deep moisturising foot pack in honey and almond scent. Okay so I think we apply the mask to the feet and then I think there's like little socks in there that you put over them and secure them in place and leave them and then when you peel them off all of the dead skin should come away and it should be really really nice to Get rid of all that dead skin. I'm sorry, this isn't that the nicest thing to be talking about, but there you go. If you don't know what a foot peel is, now you do. I also picked up these, I seen these and just grabbed them. It's a five pack of hair bands for release. Um, it's got a plain white one, a silver one, a white one with little gold spots, a pink one, and a blue one. Now, quickly before I get onto the homeware stuff, I'm gonna show you all the little bits that I've picked up for the kids. These are just like craft things and stuff like that. It won't take too long. So, first of all, I picked up a blank sketch pad for Elise, A4 paper, it is all blank, just for her to start practicing doing shapes and colouring pictures, drawing, stuff like that. She's getting really into it at the minute and they are doing a lot of it in nursery. I also picked one of these up for her. It is just lined paper, again, just to be able to put lines in, write her letters and let her copy and just have a little go at writing herself. She feels a little bit more grown up when it's like this. Um, so she can sit at my desk or whatever and she can be doing her little letters and her numbers and 
practice them doing it that way. Yeah. So I picked them up for her. Didn't want to leave Elliot out, so I picked him up this animal colouring and crafty set. It's just little activity packs in there with crayons and stickers and all kinds. He is animal mad, especially for elephants. So I picked him up one of them. To go with them, I just picked up these. This is a pack of big um, jumbo crayons. I think there are 16 in here, all different colours. I also picked him up, picked him up? Picked him up these and for Elise as well. It's four little packs in there of 12 mini colours. And these are the pencils. So I like with these taking out, say, the little colouring in box and a pack of these if we're going out for a meal or anything like that, just in case anywhere we go to doesn't have kids colouring in stuff. Um, it keeps them quiet for a little bit. And also, if you just get one of these out and giving them to the kids, Guaranteed they will lose them or break them. So then just replace them with another pack. So the next things I want to show you are These Powerlands are Amazing for things like this. If you've got kids of school age um, Right from the ages of three through to at 11 I'll probably say so all the way through primary school Definitely go and check out Powerlands. All these books are a pound um, they have them for all different age ranges. So this one is the English one and it says homemade learning made fun Homemade learning home learning made fun. It's leap ahead workbook and it's for the ages three to four years old It says preschool English So in here there's pa like pages of stickers that you will loop I cannot get my words out today you will use these on different pages ahead. So it tells you on there what page you're gonna need them for. And then if you just flick through, sorry, I'm all over the place here. If you flick through and have a little look, it's sort of encouraging writing, um, drawing, matching things up. They can stick the stickers where they should go. They can copy the letters here. They're just amazing. They are so, so good for like little, workbooks at home i just thought they are really really good and like i say they go all the way up through primary school so they'll do the maths ones and the science ones and they're just pretty pretty good this next one is for the next year up so it's four to five years old elise is actually just turned four in january and um, so i'm hoping the two of them is going to be a nice little mix so now is the fun bit. This is the bit I was so excited about. When I went down the homeware section, it was rammed with so many good things. So first of all, because it wouldn't be a haul if I didn't show you some storage, these storage baskets I picked up in this lovely navy colour. Um, I actually picked these up for my bathroom. My bathroom's gonna be like white, gray, and this very, very dark blue colour. So I thought they would be really really handy i've not actually seen storage baskets in this color yet but it seems to be a very popular color at the minute so i thought i'd just grab two while they're only pounds each then i picked up these for the kids bedrooms so they're just these little very 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 simple led lights this one's a little rainbow they're all just one color so it's like um, a warm um white color this one's a little rainbow for elisa's bedroom and then this one is a little shark for Elliot's bedroom. And I thought they would look nice just sat on their sides, on their drawers, wherever. I'll find some of them to go. But for a pound, they're really cute little additions to the bedrooms. Also for the Elise's bedroom, I found this. <laughs> it's so random, but so, so cute. And I really loved it. It would probably be a really nice idea in a kitchen. But I couldn't walk past it and not pick it up. So it's this gorgeous apple. It is ceramic and it is in a very gorgeous pale pink colour. Um, and then it's got the little wooden bit at the top to look like the stalk or the stem, whatever we call it. Um, yeah, I just couldn't walk past it. And so I picked one up in grey as well. And I thought it will definitely come in handy maybe as a little addition in the bathroom or the kitchen when that's eventually done. I don't know. I just seen them and I had to pick them up. Um, they didn't have many left and when I got to the till, the girl who was saving me was saying these are sold out everywhere. Nobody can get hold of them, everybody's going mad for them. So 
glad to seen them. If you're in Poundland and you like the look of these and you see them, pick them up because by the sounds of it, they can't get them anywhere. Next, I picked up this. I actually copied off my mum because she got one of these the other day. It's just this glass jar with a silver lid on and my idea, which is my mum's idea, so props to Jean, is to use it as a little vase. Um, I've just bought us some gorgeous little bunches of daffodils and it's just the perfect little size for some daffodils. Also, I got some white string just to tie around the top to make it feel a little bit more rustic. These were my absolute favourite things that I'm going to show you now that I picked up. So, I still can't believe the, these were only a pound. I've just spent quite a bit of money on prints for the kids' bedrooms and the bathroom from Decenio. I will put pictures on up on Instagram if you're interested in seeing the ones that I chose. But they had these ones in Poundland. How cute are they? A pound. These are A3 size. They're black and white. This is a little what? Is it an alpaca? Llama? <laughs> Don't know the difference. And a giraffe. Um, Elliot, again, as I've said, is animal mad. And I thought these would look gorgeous in his room. So I picked up these frames to go with them these are the black ones again a3 they were only a pound each and because i didn't know which ones would look better and they were the only ones left i did pick up them in white as well which i'm sure they will definitely come in handy somewhere in the house because they had loads of different prints in there so i'll definitely be picking up more but i thought for a pound they were just incredible and then I found this one, there was the only one there at the bottom of the pile and I seen it and instantly it, I just thought you're coming home with me. So it's this one, it's white and it says but first makeup with the little eyelashes and then I just picked up a white frame for that one to go in and I thought once my little like dressing room slash office is done that'll look really cute in there. So I couldn't walk away and leave them there. So yeah, had to pick them all up. But I'm sure I will find space for them. But if you are looking for any homeware stuff, definitely go and check out Powerlands. Maybe your bigger Powerlands might have a bit more variety. But my shop was absolutely rammed with amazing stuff. So I definitely can't wait to go back once the rooms are starting to get finished. And I can just throw all little added finishing touches in. So that was everything that I picked up in this Powerlands haul. I'm sorry I rambled on for so long. My voice is definitely going now. Um, but yeah, I had to show you everything I got because I was so, so made up with all the bits that was in there. Poundland, thumbs up for February. Well done once again. If you are not already subscribed to my channel and you enjoy content like this, you enjoy watching haul videos, definitely hit that subscribe button. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will see you all on my next one.